peekaboo. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, look what's happened here. Bonk. She got hit on the head by an acorn. I bet you've heard the story of Chicken Little before. This is sort of like that with a little bit of difference. The title is, The Sky is Falling. This book was written by Mark Teague and published by Orchard Books. And there's a sign right here that says, watch out for falling apples. Farmer Bob, there was a warning. Get ready, friends. <clears throat> here we go. One day, an acorn hit Chicken Little on the head. She popped up screeching, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. I don't think so, said Squirrel. Squirrel knew a thing or two about acorns. See, it fell from a tree. But Chicken Little was not listening. The sky is falling. The sky is falling. Soon all the chickens were in a tizzy. Chickens are like that. The sky is falling. The sky is falling, they cried. They danced around the yard, flapping their wings. What's going on? asked Rabbit. Chicken Little says the sky is falling, the chickens shouted. Boy, is that dumb, said Rabbit. Of course, said Squirrel. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. The chickens break danced. They did the pogo and the splits. What's up, asked Cat, curious as always. Chicken Little thinks the sky is falling, said Rabbit. Squirrel explained about the acorn. You must be kidding, said Cat. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, squawked the chickens. They did the moonwalk, the mambo, and the twist. The chickens look like they are having fun, said Squirrel. You know, said Rabbit, I was thinking the same thing. Should we try it? asked Cat. Soon they were all dancing around the barnyard. They did the rumba, the waltz, and the hokey pokey. The other farm animals joined in. They formed a conga line. They shouted, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Fox watched all of it from behind an apple tree. He was the cleverest of the animals and had never been fooled. Look at those dodos, he thought. Hey, what are you doing, he hollered. The sky is falling, the sky is falling, they all shouted back. These loons would believe Anything, thought Fox. His scheme was working. If the sky is falling, why are you dancing? Why not? They cried. Because you should be hiding. That's why, said Fox. They ignored him and kept dancing. Thinking about dinner, Fox said, you know the perfect place to hide? My den. But why aren't you dancing? asked Chicken Little. Fox began to feel annoyed because it makes no sense. Everyone dances when the sky is falling, Chicken Little explained. Look! Fox watched the other animals. He can't dance, clucked the other chickens. Of course I can, Fox said quickly. Watch this. He danced around the apple tree. He did the limbo, the lindy, and the lambada. He danced until he forgot why he was dancing. And then an apple fell and bonked him on the head. Chicken Little began pecking in the yard. 
the other chickens joined her. The pigs and the ducks and the goats wandered back to the farm. Cat and Rabbit dragged Fox back to his den. This is one dumb fox, said Cat. I'll say, said Rabbit. But that is one smart bird, said Squirrel, chewing her acorn thoughtfully. Even if the sky isn't falling. Oh, I wonder if you saw in the very beginning of this book, an acorn bonked her on the head, but look over there. He's got a slingshot and he shot that acorn right over. I think Fox had a plan and I think Chicken Little was too smart for him. Let's find another picture here. Uh, he's trying to explain, trying to explain. All those chickens are crazy. But I think we have one more picture here. Look at this. Do you know what that says? It says, chicken cookbook. Oh, that fox was hungry. Chicken Little was smarter than he thought. There's that slingshot again. Bonk. The sky is falling. I miss you, friends. Mm-hmm.